Welcome to 5 Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce the plural and formal imperative. In a prior presentation, we saw that the singular and formal imperative had some difficult rules to remember. For example, if a verb stem ends in D, T, or IG, we must add an E to the imperative form. Arbeite nicht so langsam. Don't work so slowly. We also saw that verbs having a stem vowel change in the present tense also have the same change in the singular informal imperative. For example, sieh mich an, look at me. There are a few other rules that I won't mention here. Since the rules governing the singular informal imperative are rather complex, you may wish to review that presentation before continuing with this one. Thankfully, the rules for forming the plural informal imperative are much simpler. Remember that this is the form you would use when talking with a group of close friends or family members. Let's use the sentence you see on the screen, Ihr schreibt den Brief, you all write the letter, to see how to do this. First, we remove the second person plural, pronoun ihr, which then moves the verb to the first position in the sentence. We then add an exclamation point to the end. And that's it. The plural and formal imperative of the verb is the same as the second person plural present tense verb form. As in the singular and formal imperative, German can retain the personal pronoun for clarification or added emphasis. Finally, as we have seen in the prior presentations, the imperative form of sein, meaning to be, is also irregular in the plural and formal imperative. For example, seid nicht so albern, don't be so silly. The five minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non commercial, share alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square, remix and share.